Rage games are absurdly popular and they're also really fun, but I've never made a true rage game and I want to change that. I had an idea for a platformer with absurdly hard jumps and unresponsive controls, so I got to work. The player was pretty simple to set up, but the code for the player was horrendous. First I actually created the player in the Godot visual editor, and then I started adding abilities with code. I added acceleration and deceleration, jumping, wall jumps, wall sliding, and tons of other weird stuff until there were like 50 ways to move. I made jumping and wall jumping intentionally unresponsive too. Fun! Running and jumping were pretty easy to make, but deceleration and wall jumping sucked. I spent a while fine tuning the wall slide, but eventually the player code was mostly done. I also made some simple lava, and the player has to restart the entire level when they touch it. Since the whole game will be one level, this will be really annoying, but it's time to actually make that level. I started the level with some wall jumps. Then you must slide down a wall to avoid lava. You make some precise jumps across another lava lake and go down a large pit only to get stuck at the bottom. You spend ages getting out via wall jump before realizing that the only option is to kill yourself. So long, Zero Death Run. You return to the pit, but this time you go into a hidden area on the top. You rush along, flying right into lava. After you return, you jump over the lava and move on. You slide down a wall above a massive lava lake and see a small platform to jump on. After repeatedly missing it, you finally get it before realizing that there are three more. After you beat that, you go down a pit and go halfway up it again to get out. You run along and wall jump up a massive pit that you are at the bottom of. Once you succeed, you realize that it was the wrong way and you must kill yourself. You finally realize that there was a hidden area to go up in one of the areas of the level. If you feel a single wall jump in it, you die. Finally, you reach the top. You see the text saying that you've escaped once you reach it, and there are no more obstacles, just a small hallway. Except, you don't fit. After all this, the game is seemingly unbeatable. So you quit, and the game won. You lost. Eventually, everybody will quit and lose. But the game isn't impossible. You can't escape it, but escaping it isn't necessarily beating it. Your job is to complete a goal. There's no specific set goal though, so if you win, if you complete your own goal, and you just have to set your own goal. If your goal is just to beat the initial wall jumps, then you do that and you've won. But if your goal is to reach the point closest to escaping, where you can't fit into the final hallway, you win when you accomplish that. It's up to you what your goal is, so the game is beatable no matter what you do. It was really fun to make this game, and I got a lot better at coding new platforming mechanics, and if you want to play it, there's a link below. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. I won't be able to keep up my current upload schedule because my spring break ends soon, but I'll still try to get out weekly videos, and every two weeks starting this Sunday, there will be Into the Chasm devlogs. Also, you may enjoy my video on making a game in 15 minutes, so definitely watch that.